In our series, Eye on Earth, we're looking at what could be an unusual weapon in the battle against climate change. Seaweed, that's right, seaweed. The richest man on the planet, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, is betting big on it. His $10 billion climate fund, that's with a B, awarded $100 million to study and develop seaweed as a sustainable crop on a warming planet. As Ben Tracy shows us, it could also be a way to trap harmful carbon emissions that are causing climate change. It's morning in Maine. And Matt Moretti is cutting through a heavy blanket of fog. What's it like driving out here in a morning like this? Oh, it's incredibly disorienting. It's really hard to see. Just as it starts to clear, we see dozens of these colorful buoys bobbing on the water. We've arrived at his underwater farm. His crop is seaweed. The fancy name for it is kelp. We sent a diver down to see what it looks like below, growing on these thousand foot long lines. Now, could you just eat this right now? Yeah, you want to try some? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, give it a nibble. It's delicious. Cheers. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Thanks for sharing your kelp. Absolutely. Moretti and 24 other seaweed farmers in Maine sell their kelp to Bree Warner back in Portland. You know, it's really fun to say, I run a seaweed company. Her company, Atlantic Sea Farms, turns it into food products sold in grocery stores and increasingly restaurants. At this one in Maine, the lobster roll is topped with seaweed pesto. How quickly is this growing here? So the entire state of Maine in 2018 was 40,000 pounds, and this year we'll be harvesting us alone, two years later, 850,000 pounds. Seaweed, which has been popular in Asian countries for generations, is considered a healthy source of protein, with up to five times more calcium than milk, and it's a crop that might better withstand climate change. Worldwide, seaweed production is on pace to be bigger than potatoes by 2051. Seaweed is not the most celebrated of plants in the ocean. <laughs> right. People think, oh, it's that thing that wraps around your legs when you're swimming. Um, we met Paul Dobbins from the World Wildlife Fund in the middle of Casco Bay, part of the Gulf of Maine, which is warming faster than 99% of the Earth's oceans, partly because of how shallow it is. The warmer water is causing some fish species to head north and could eventually threaten Maine's main export, lobster. And this is a way to create a, a vegetable and a protein source that doesn't require the fresh water or the land or fertilizer, which is really kind of miraculous. So this is our seawater facility. But scientists like Nicole Price think seaweed has a lot more to offer. Seaweed might be having a moment. Yeah, yeah, I would say seaweed's having a moment, yeah. <laughs> Lower away. Early results from her team's experiments show seaweed farms dramatically improve water quality and absorb one of the main greenhouse gases warming our planet. Seaweed's a great sponge for carbon dioxide. Our cars, power plants, factories, and farms all pump carbon dioxide into the air. The world's oceans absorb about one-third of those emissions, so far helping the planet avoid even more catastrophic changes. Scientists already know that seagrass and mangroves absorb carbon even better than the world's tropical rainforests do, which when they burn, pump all that stored carbon back into the air. So this gives us a good ray of hope for a future world where the seaweed seems to be able to take what we can give it in terms of carbon dioxide. Wow. Yeah. For lobstermen like Steve Train, who also started farming kelp this year, it's a hedge against an uncertain future. Right now we're heavily dependent on one resource. So if, if there is a turn in the fishery, there needs to be something else. And right now, kelp is one of those things. One of those things that's so much more than the stuff tangled around our feet. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, off the coast of Maine. Awesome. Bigger than potatoes by 2051. Yeah, that that was my attention. <laughs> honestly, they are delicious as potato chips. There's a type of seaweed you yep. get as a snack. They sell uh -huh. it at like every corner store in New York. Kids love it. Find it in your local supermarket. I recommend it. And it tastes good, too. It tastes good. It gets just, all in your teeth, just but it's good. It gets in your teeth and yeah. make them eat it outside because you'll be picking that out of the rug for yeah. about a decade. But I like what Ben said. Seaweed is having a moment. And all the things you could do. Seaweed pesto. Who yeah. knew? I don't, I I like, think, I like I don't think Ben would recommend it raw off the boat. But, you know, with some processing, he, it's He delicious. ate that with some hesitation. It's delicious.